stop it, Tony. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> wow, this is so amazing. This is so amazing. First, first, I must say, thank you, Jen Richards. Thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you, Tony Dorsey. Thank you, Angelica Ross. And thank you to every single person who helped make the second annual Trans 100 a reality. Also, thank you to every single trans person in this room. Y'all look great. And thank you to everyone watching from live feed tonight. Thank you for simply being who you are. To my trans friends in the room, I know many of you, I love you. To those of you who I haven't had the pleasure of meeting yet, I love you too. I know, I know, sweet, sweet. <laughs> I'm truly, truly humbled to have this amazing opportunity to stand here in a room full of so many beautiful people. We have girls like us, guys like us, folks like us, all over the place. I'm loving this. I love this. You see, I love being trans. I love being trans. But I haven't always loved being trans. You see, when I don't like something about me, I always question why. Simply accepting what I don't like about me without having the words even to explain to myself why I feel that way doesn't make sense to me. When things don't make sense, I start to search for answers. And one day, I received an answer that made sense to me. It came from one of the co-founders of the Trans 100 and one of my dearest friends, Jen Richards. It feels like Jen and I go way, way back, but really we just met last year. <laughs> Janet Mock, who is, by the way, always bringing trans folks together, brought Jen to one of our mutual friends, Stephanie Lavin's birthday dinner. I arrived to the restaurant. I see the birthday girl, we do the cheap kiss and hug exchange thing. I meet everyone else at all the tables, and then I sit. Next in, next in walks Miss Janet Mock. She walked in with someone who I presume to be a friend. I was right. I say, hey, Janet. <laughs> always a pleasure. And then I was introduced to, to the ever so amazing Miss Jen Richards. She was so easy to talk to. We started talking about our trans identities and during, and during that period of time, I was unsure about whether or not I wanted to continue using the word trans with my male identity. I just wanted to be a man. I was feeling that way because every time I would enter a room full of people who had, who, who had no idea who I was, I continued to experience a shift in the way people would look at me, the way they would act around me, and the way they would talk to me once they knew that I was trans. I got sick and tired of being the token trans person in the room. It didn't feel good. So I contemplated stripping my trans identity away, and from that point forward, only introducing myself as a man. Jen said something like, if you no longer felt that shift of people's looks, actions, and words, when you, when you come out to them, would you still feel that way? I thought about it a little bit, and I was like, I don't think so. Probably not, no. No, yeah, you're right, no, I wouldn't, no, no. And then Jen said, there's this quote, and it goes something like, when we show up in the room, whole and authentically, we allow others to do the same. You are creating change. It's not easy, it does get tiring, but that's what you have us for, girls like us. Jenna was sitting right in between us during all, the, all of this, smiling and cheesing. <laughs> it was truly a priceless moment, I know, right? <laughs> After sitting there in awe of this brilliant response, I let it all sink in. I started to think about when I first started my transition and how differently I feel about myself now. The answer I needed was clear. When people become aware, they become less afraid. So from that point forward, I began to own my trans identity. For me, being, tran being trans doesn't make me any less of a man. For me, being trans means I get to define who I am. I am a man. I'm a black trans man. I am Kai Allens. It took me some time to figure it took, it took me some time to figure out who that was. But in the end, I discovered myself through my community and conversations that we've had with one another. Another conversation that led me to begin owning my truth was with Tony Dorsey, the other Trans 100 co-director. I was talking to her about my experiences. This was like late night after, you know, we've been hanging out and stuff. Um, I was talking to her about my experiences and coming out to people who have been attracted to me. 
and don't know that I'm trans. I told her about a cisgender guy who ran out of a bar after I told her that I was trans. This is how me and, to and, me and Tony's conversation ended. So I said, I told him I was trans, he looked at me, looked at his drink, then he told me he didn't date women. He finished his drink and then he walked out. Tony said, somebody did that to you? Let me tell you something, that just ain't the right man for you. <laughs> she said, you're beautiful, you're amazing, and anybody that can't see that, well that's their loss. If you are ever feeling like you ain't enough, just go talk to Tony, just go talk to Tony and, and she'll make you feel all better. <laughs> so this is my story. Loving myself, accepting myself, learning that I'm enough for myself. These are our stories. Our shared experience is how we relate to one another and build community. Continuing our oral history is the mission of a project I created, Project I Am Enough. I like that, I like that. Everything, everything, everything we do is about self-love. Why? Because there's so much negativity and hate going on in the world. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> You can define what being trans enough looks like. And whatever you decide, know that that is enough. That is a message Project I Am Enough wants to send. We aim to encourage everyone to do something that makes them smile every first of the month. We call it I Am Enough Day. Guess what's right around the corner? April 1st, yeah. <laughs> When's the last time you did something that made you smile? Literally, think about it. If you're still thinking about it, it's been too long. This isn't just my project. It's your project too. And as if tonight couldn't get any better, Trans Day of Visibility is tomorrow. Yeah. And, it, and in the spirit, I would love to call the names of three people who have helped shape me into the man that I am today. So there's Sasha Alexander of Black Trans Media. He literally lives, he, he literally lives less than Beyonce's Fearless away. <laughs> like one song away. And he lives right, he lives right, right down the street. Um, he has been there, he has been there for me through, through so much. Um, and, oh, I, 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 I wouldn't be here without him, honestly. Um, he's, he's, he's an amazing person. Um, Oscar Robles, he's my brother from another mother. <laughs> uh, he's also in Brooklyn. Um, he identifies as, as a gay trans man, and when I first met him, he was the first other uh, trans man who liked men. And he literally gave me the words to, to be able to understand who I was and to be able to articulate to the people, this is how I feel. It's okay for me to be trans and be a trans man or a woman, whoever. I can, I can do that. It's okay for me. Uh, thank you, Oscar, for that. Thank you, thank you. Also, Lois Hunter of the Trans Women of Color Collective. She is just amazing. I, just, I, I love being around her. I, 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 she just has a way with words. She knows how to, how, to, how to speak to people and how to explain who she is and why she feels the way that she does. I love you. I love you, Lois. It's Kokomo, Kokomo Media Inc. and the founder of TGIA. I met her, I met her a couple of months ago. When she, she was actually at Sasha's house. <laughs> we were all hanging out and talking. Um, she, she is also amazing. Um, Kokomo, I love you. Uh, there are so many other names that I wish that I, I, could, I could talk about. Um, but everyone in my life who has been there for me, you know who you are, and thank you. I love you so much. Um, I now know, because of all of you, I now know that I am enough. Yeah. You are enough. All of you, you are enough. And we are enough together. Thank you. Yeah.